we we have to put something in this spark plug lead out for the for the spark plug to have somewhere to go and just a short piece of wire coming out over to here where it would spark against that little spark gap would be sufficient and there's ample ways to do that now now one of the ways so simple it is you know it's uh, it's as simple it's as simple as I can make it it's just one of them little uh, light bulbs you know it's one of them spark plug accessories you can get some out there and it's just a short piece of wire and and, and 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 what I do in order to have a test apparatus and make sure that that goes in the uh, spark plug tire to seat out in the bottom and then all I do is just bend this with sufficient amount of spring action to where that it will make a hundred percent contact to the magneta cover now from now on I have a visual uh, spark confirmation so let's just turn the flywheel a couple of times and see till we have a spark just uh, I'm anxious to see that uh, there's no attempt no attempt to adjust anything this is just how it was put together loosely so let's just rotate the uh, and I can, I can, uh, you, you have to have the spark plug in the engine uh, to confirm that you're on the compression stroke. And maybe we can see that, that the blue part is what we're watching. And you turn this around there till you come up on the ignition. Okay, did you see that spark? Now we were way off. The the ignition mark is is way up here. We were way off on the timing, but it did produce a spark the first time. <laughs> it kind of surprised me. I was not expecting to have a spark there. Um, but the way we do this is. Um, uh, we we do know the mag magnet's got spark now. The timing procedure is to put your this this starting this starting lever right here. Put it down on run. P position that in the run position. And and that's another thing that does that spring in there and those little indents right there. And you will find these with all manners of mechanics where they've drilled small indents in between there and um, it's just not necessary to do that it's uh, not much to be gained by doing that I tell you but but it does need to be with that spring and that little prowl in there does need to be operating sufficiently to where it will lock into those two positions and not just wander up and down uh, the uh, and and uh, Let's move that cotter right there. And this is this all mechanism is all loose. Nothing is tight. This nothing in there is tight. That's loose. That's loose. That's loose. But uh, this is down in the run position. And the way that you time this engine, the flywheel, exhaust, ignition, and they will be marked different ways from different engines different time periods let's say different time periods uh, some of them uh, will have it on the front up here even the international uh, will have it on the face of the flywheel and some of them don't have it cast in here but the procedure is the same uh, turn it around until the that's 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 the compression stroke when you when you turn in your flywheels and you come up to the compression stroke Okay, the the that means that the exhaust stroke has already happened. It has come on around, and the next when the timing mark trips the mag at the desired position before top dead center or at top dead center. So, uh, and, 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 and carrying right along here with this one, 
when we come on around and 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 if you remember the timing mark on the flywheel and the timing mark on the engine is that casted that mark down yonder that's cast into the base of the engine that's the timing mark on the top end so what we, and we want the ignition to happen when this lever is in the run position and the mark on the flywheel on the compression stroke lines up in that position that's when the spark should occur so if we come on around that's uh, uh, they they be lined up right there and spark did not occur uh, at this point you have to say well how come it how come it didn't how come it didn't trip the reason is is we we've not adjusted the spring mechanism the this uh, that whole eccentric right there needs to be in a position to match the flywheel and the timing gears so and and the way you do that is is to adjust this this uh, the, the the lock nut right there on this one is loose, and then there's a big nut here. Some of them that won't have that. Some of them that will be round. But you would adjust that, and I know uh, just this is too loose. I can already tell that. So uh, maybe a little experience this year now. Uh, if uh, a first time owner would not know that was too loose. And at that point, it's it's kind of you do something, and if that didn't work, then you say, well, what has to happen in order for that to occur? And that's it. That's the way you get to that. But if you get down here and look at it, the I'm going to move this back a couple of turns. And, and also, too, now on, on an old used uh, rebuilding the engine, that that lever there, that the rod that these two springs goes on, it gets bent. You will find that that is bent on quite a few engines. And when you have a bent one and you straighten it back as good as you can, then when you... When, when you put it back on there, you look right down through the front right here, and you turn it back here until until it don't put any pressure. When, when you when it's bent and you turn that, you can see it move like this. So you want to position that where it's in the neutral, where it's straight, it, as straight as you can get it. And that seems to be about right there. So I'm going to... I'm going to lock that in there. Now, also, this this adjustment right here regulates positions how far away that your armature pulls from the cores, and you do not want that to pull away more than about a quarter of an inch, uh, somewhere in that range. So let's turn this thing again. Okay, it's coming up on the ignition, up on the compression. And we got no we got no spark. We, I mean we got no uh no trip. Now none of this has been oil. If you remember, I have not put any oil at all on this engine because I may put another coat of a uh, boilency oil on it. And it did not trip. We have to I'm going to move that some, and 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 all at the same time, I'm putting some pressure here. And these springs, you will find these. And there's two washers in there, one on the front of that arm and one on the back. Those washers has to be there. And also that the the trip, the arm goes down like that. That that will wear a lot. It's one of the places on these engines that wears excessively. And when that gets worn, you have to build it back up and set it flat with the engine. With the engine, but there is two two washers there. 
And if your spring gets really weak, you actually can uh, uh, put a couple of washers in there to make up for it. It's, it's, it's better to put a new spring, but you can washer it up. And I did make a few turns right there, so let's... Uh, okay. Now see, with just that, like two turns here, we got the spark back. See that? Uh, Y'all probably can't see that spark up there. But it sparked and it tripped quite well. Okay, now now at this point you need to, to come around and trip it and see and look at the distance. Right here, the distance between between that armature and the and the cores. And on this one right here, it's a little more than one eighth of an inch. So <clears throat> that tells me that this this adjustment here is right and this is right. Now I have to observe the timing marks again. Coming on around. Okay, it's late. See, it was right here, and that one was down yonder. So it's late. In order to get it back here, then this arm has to go that way. This, this, this one right here. Okay, let's try it again. If you see the mark, it moved in this direction. It got further away. So that tells us that I went the wrong way with this with this adjustment here. Should go the other way. So it's looser that way. I can turn it with my hand as much as we had plus a little more. Let's try it right there. Okay, now it moved it all it moved it this much with just I'm gonna say about two turns. So we need to go about two more turns. One, two. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, you see it's it's pretty much dead center. Let's do it again. Y'all didn't see that. When it's come around, this mark here should trip when that's exactly straight down. See it? Exactly straight down. Maybe a little camera angle here, but you know, here on site, that's straight down. It tripped exactly correctly. Now, I was looking down here. This time, I'm going to look at the spark. Y'all see it? 